Hello there, I'm Sean Creasley and welcome to another edition of our DirectX 9 tutorials within the C++ environment. In this tutorial I will be discussing how to move the camera uh, while user is giving input. So for example if the user enters the A key then the camera will move to the left. If the user enters the L key the camera will move to the right. And other functionality. So let's have a look how we can implement this we firstly refer to our three camera lines we know all so well the x value, the y value and the z value here so if we change the z value sorry the x value to a variable so say x camera we'll change this one to the same variable we then want y cam and z camera. So we've got x, y, and z coordinates for the movement of the shape. If we then refer to the top of the program, we defined some global variables x camera, y camera and Z camera. If we specify some original values 0.0f 0.0f and minus 35.0f So now we've inserted variables into our cameras we now need to modify these variables so we can move the camera. In order to do this we refer to the uh, message handling procedure. So, remember when we discussed it in the R basic setup uh, tutorial, we then create a case for the Windows message character uh, function. We then open a new procedure and do a new switch statement. Uh, the reference into message proc that we're dealing with is the W param reference. W param uh, accepts keyboard entry and other uh, inputs from the user and we want to say that when the case uh, is equal to A we want the... well let's make this simple. When it's X we want to uh, manipulate the X camera in some way. So x camera equals x camera plus 0.4 float break out of here. I'll correct that in a second. Just ending all the uh, braces while I remember. Okay, we've now got case of x we now want one for Y like so and one for Z so what we're doing here is we're calling the Windows message char function if message proc gets past a message uh, so for example if we press the A key uh, the loop here will detect the A key here it is, it's translated the message, it's dispatched message it passes it to here here sorry uh, message proc. We realize it is a message. We enter the switch statement. It's not. We're not crossing off a program. We're pressing the A key. It's recognized that the sh uh, A is a member uh, uh, of the Windows messaging char function, um, and it is also a member of the W uh, param switch statement. And as you can see, um, these are the cases it can fall under. So it's like kind of like tree, if you'd like. And once we've detected our key press, it'll uh, call this function and increment our camera angle, like so. So let's run the program. Let's just wait a second, it might be a little slow unless we may have a little syntax error somewhere. Okay, let's try and figure out what is wrong. I think I know where it might be. I think it's this here. Not point not F. I think that might be out the scope of our range. Let's just try.
try that. There we go. Oh, we, we had the uh, Z camera zoomed right out to minus 35 and it wasn't liking it, so it was out of scope and of our field of vision. So let's try pressing the X. See, it's moving to the left. Let's press Y. Let's press Z. It should zoom. As you can see, if you'd like it to zoom faster or move faster, uh, then simply increment these values here by a little more each time. For example, 1.0, or maybe take some off so the um, sh uh, camera, sorry, can move in the other direction. So uh, play around with the various commands. Just remember that the Windows messaging uh, SHA function accepts characters inside a switch uh, statement of reference to Buparam, and it accepts all, si uh, all kinds of user input. And insert variables here to play around your cameras, uh, camera rotation, and whatever you'd like. So, I'm Sean Greasley. This has been a uh, DirectX 9 tutorial on cameras and uh, camera angles within DirectX. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you enjoy more to come. I'm Sean Greasley. Good night.